absolutely love my desk space. I did not think I would like having an office in my bedroom. Our house is only a thousand square feet. We don't have a whole lot of space. This is approximately a four by four foot space. It has all the elements that I want and I know how I will move them slightly when I redo it. Having said that, this is the desk that was my great grandmother's and I inherited it when she passed away. So it's one of those things I will never get rid of and I absolutely love. And then I got this desk and I got this desk for $20. I had the intent to use it as a standing desk. It said it was a standing desk. However, I'm almost five foot nine and it doesn't go up high enough for me. What I've done instead is I have the ability to sit here create this L-shaped desk space, which I absolutely love. I also sometimes sit on the edge of my bed and use it from there. So all in all, I've taken a really small space and made it great. I love the filing cabinet, but if it was in a different area and not right next to my bed, I would put the printer on top of the filing cabinet and that would make it ideal. And I would move things around up here to make it less messy, more condensed, work better but it was a great start to figure out how I wanted to set it up. And in this house, it works fine. It's not worth putting more holes in the wall. What I don't like about this desk is that it is not a standing desk. I wanted to create something that was just as portable, if not more portable. I liked the space. It's 18 by 24 inches, but I don't need this separation. If you can see, it kind of wiggles a lot. It's secure, but it wiggles. So I thought if I were to make one myself, I would make it the same size, but one board. I would make it portable, but I would definitely make it so that I could put it just like this and have an L-shaped desk or a standing desk. So that's what I'm going to show you how I did. I found an amazing video online that showed how to create this tripod desk for small spaces or for someone who wants to move things around. And obviously, as it says in its name, the first thing you need is a tripod. I found a tripod on Facebook Marketplace for $10 that was so awesome, it was incredible. Another one of the things that you purchase is a 360 degree rotating panoramic ball head with quarter inch quick release plate which I ordered. You also need a low pro two bracket. It's a low profile mounting bracket to use with tether table arrow series, but I made my own desktop. What it does have is a quarter inch female thread for mounting on any tripod head. The other thing I needed was a top. I went to Home Depot and purchased a half inch two by four foot board and I actually had it cut right there at Home Depot. Since it was two feet wide, that was perfect. I had them cut 18 inches off of it. I brought it home and refinished it. I had everything that I needed to refinish it so that didn't cost me anything. Once it was dry and looking good, I made a template with the low pro two bracket. You can see it's super fancy. And then I actually had a friend drill the holes and put the screws in to attach it to the underneath. Originally looked at doing this project, I didn't have a tripod available. And I had looked online for one that was recommended at $190. So you can see with the wood, the ball head with the release plate, the one that I originally was looking at, and then the low pro two bracket would have cost me $340, but I don't tend to do things for what they would cost me. I figure out another way. The tripod was the biggest score coming in at $10. The wood didn't make any difference at 15. The low pro was $68, including shipping. It was $60 like it said originally, but with shipping it ended up being 68. There were $3 spent in screws. And then I got the ball head for $27 instead of the 75, which put it in at $123, which was pretty incredible. I'm super excited because today the ball mount for the tripod came and it's a lot beefier than I was anticipating, which is a really good problem to have. I was a little bit worried about how it would hold up. I screwed it onto the tripod. I'm gonna remove the quick release plate because I don't need it. And I mounted the low pro on.
That was pretty easy, and it's pretty awesome. Here you can see the ball hitch, which was a lot heavier than I had anticipated. The desk set up as a standing desk, and then the underneath mounting bracket. It's much more secure than I was anticipating. I was a little concerned, but it's great. This was my great grandmother's desk. I remember her sitting and writing letters and just super fond memories. I have my Yeti microphone, my lights, my second monitor, camera. In the little drawer on the left that is blocked a little by the Yeti, I have a lot of cords that I use but not very often and the right drawer is a drawer that I use very frequently. The only thing I don't like about this desk is that when I set my laptop on it, it hangs off. When I have my camera attached right here, I need to pull it forward more. My hands hang off, it tips pretty easily, so I wanted to come up with a desk solution that would not affect the actual desk permanently, but would make it so that I had more space. These drawer slides, the, they hold up to 100 pounds. I'm gonna show you how I use them in a slightly unique way so that I could have more access on my desk. I bought 16 inch drawer slides at Home Depot. The depth of the desk piece was 18 inches. Then I applied Velcro on the part of the slide that would go up against the desk. If I need to, I can get it off and also it's not hard to clean up the tacky glue left over. I took them apart and I screwed the part that goes onto usually the drawer on the back of the desk, and then I inserted everything together. I did put this a little off center, which drives Dane crazy, but I needed to be able to get the notebook on the right side. So I did this very intentionally. It works so great. It's actually better than I imagined. It's sturdy, I've used it all day and I love it. As far as how much I spent for this, I had wood left over from the tripod desk that I made. So I had a friend cut it for me. I already had Velcro in the house and the slides at Home Depot were $14. When I was editing the video and looking at the space for my desk area, I decided that it looked cluttered and drove me crazy. I removed the cushion on my chair and ordered a new one. I cleaned up my nightstand. I love the idea of having a cork board behind my desk with some of my favorite pictures of the kids, but it looked so messy. I took down one of my running metal boards and condensed to just one, made sure there was nothing on top of the shelves. My goal was to just clean it up, make it look more neat and organized. This fantastic screen from Amazon, and it does several things for me. First, it blocks out the backlight from the window. It also conceals anything behind me, which is a dresser in this case. And it means that when people walk in and out of the room, you cannot see them. I'm really excited that I was able to create two unique desk areas that both work for me really well. And this entire area is exactly what I wanted. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day.